Hey there, welcome to Game Horror Game. I am Poob. We're playing Seven Days to Die. This is our permadeath run where we're headed west. Okay, now last time, if you were watching last time, we managed to find this house. Just one moment, I'm going to pause and clear my throat. Okay, I feel much better now. Anyway, we stopped in this house last time, and we got to cook in some water. Now, the results of this was some goldenrod tea, because I realized after I uh, had made the water, I could also cook it into goldenrod tea which does just as much hydration as water, but it adds wellness, removes dysentery if you have it, which means I can eat bad food and have it cured by this. Uh, so moldy bread is now open to me, uh, and also it gives me more stamina than water would. Stamina would give me only plus 20. This gives me plus 40. Uh, I also cooked one of my eggs and made it into, like, bacon and eggs. But now I... Okay, I took my cooking pot back off the stove... I don't think there's anything else we needed to do. Uh, looks like I need to stop and get some rocks at some point. But for now, I mean, it's uh, it's 1 p.m. We gotta move on. We gotta get out of here and try to find uh, somewhere new to be before the night comes. We need to move on. We need to head west. We are a nomad after all. This is not our home. Our home is the road. And I'm gonna ride it all night long. Actually, no, that's in no way true. I'm actually going to hide wherever I can all night long. Anyway, let's get headed out. Let's check our map real quick. So, th we've made it. I know I ended the last episode by showing you this, but we've made it. About three kilometers from where we began. I've crossed three biomes so far. And anyway, let's try to make it to our next waypoint before the end of the day. Alright, I want to pick up this corn while I'm here. I feel like that can't be a bad thing. And more goldenrod is a good thing as well. Um, oh, shit. There's a zombie right there. How many arrows do we have? Alright, we got 20 arrows. What do we got for feathers? Anything? Uh, yeah, we're not doing so hot on feathers either. Look, bud. Don't fuck with me. Uh, I don't know how that missed. Uh, I don't know how that missed. Come on. Okay, that was that was actually like right on her face. There we go. Jesus, about time. I wonder if that's just like automatic misses due to my uh, archery skill, maybe. Oh man, canned salmon. Hell yes, we're taking that. Um, ooh, our inventory is not looking too hot. Um, do I need to carry that plant fiber shirt? Uh, scrap lead. Fuck. No wait, paper. We can drop paper. We don't need to be carrying paper right now. We also, since we can't scrap that headlight, I'm not going to carry it around. And we can scrap this, so that's what I'm going to do with that, and it'll just go under a pile of scrap. Alright, let's move on. We don't want to spend all day here. we got to get going. Um, crap. we got to get going, but I'm going to need rocks. I'll bring you back in once I'm done with this rock. Alright, that rock wasn't wasn't too tough. We got rid of the rock. The rock is no longer a threat. Um, oh, man, that makes me wish I knew some wrestling jokes. Uh, insert wrestling joke here. Ha, ha, ha. And we all laughed. Oh, the laughter we had. <sighs> oh, okay, we can't afford to fight every one of you assholes, you know? So I'm going to have to kindly ask you to leave me the hell alone. I uh, I hope at some point the uh, chunk generation gets to be a little bit smoother, because as far as uh, making this gameplay goes, it's a little bit annoying, because as I'm moving ahead, it's generating chunks and causing my frame rate to drop. Um, I've got my details in the game pretty jacked up aside from that, but it's not, I can't really uh, do anything about the chunk generation, because it's actually randomly generating terrain ahead of me as I'm moving, so it's it's actually like, you know, creating the terrain for the first time. Uh, as far as I know, I don't think it pre-generates the map, I think it loads the chunks as you go, so, like, generates and loads them. I don't think it builds the whole world. Alright, I really could use some more, uh, like, bird's nests. If I see a chicken, I think we'll probably have to prioritize killing chickens. Just, uh, oh, shit. More than one zombie is not something we want to deal with. Yeah, I think we might need to prioritize killing chickens just as a means for, uh, feather gathering. Oh, look at that, another bird's nest. That bird is, uh, not that great at building nests. I'm just going to say it. That bird, not the best. That, that, that nest is half underground. I mean, the edges of your nest are only, like, three millimeters high. You you need to go to nest building class. I don't know if that's a thing. Probably not. I'm going to guess that birds just kind of wing it. 
Huh? Huh? You like the puns? I'm coming at you with the puns. Coming right at you. Like, like a spider monkey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw Talladega Nights. I hated it at first. Then it grew on me. Oh, yes, it did. Can you believe I hated that movie at first? Yeah, I really did. I didn't like it. But then, uh, it, it, uh, it became more, f it, I don't know, I actually have no idea. I don't know, that, that movie, maybe it was just that all my friends were watching it so much, and then I had to watch it because of that, but... Now I would gladly watch it pretty much any time. Um, is there a zombie behind me? Oh, okay. I thought one was uh, actually sneaking up behind me. Okay, yeah, one did sneak up behind me. Sometimes the zombie generation gets a little bit funny because as you step into a new chunk, it'll populate the area with zombies. And some of the zombies could end up behind you, which uh, tends to piss me off a little bit, actually. But, I mean... It is what it is. The game can't just have all the zombies going everywhere all the time. We're going to need to take care of these guys, though. All right, let's see if we can get a kill with the club here before anything gets out of hand. That's one down. That's two down. Wow, that was actually really smooth. Oh, shit. This guy looks like he's doing the freakout move from uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Like, he really... Th that's what it reminds me of. Uh-oh, I hear another one. Oh man, this is getting out of hand. We can't have all these zombies building up. Come on, dipshit, go down. Man, is he still not dead? This guy is tough as nails, man. Come on. Okay, I think we flattened him that time. Geez, she's coming in with the uppercut. Okay, what is with the framingness here? This is just out of hand. All right. We're going to search these guys. Man, that's a pretty good fight. Uh, I didn't. I don't even think I got hit. Okay, it must just be something with this spot that's really pissing off the uh, computer. So Again, this is Alpha. You're going to run into spots that are going to hurt your computer for seemingly no reason. Um, my computer is in no way a, a supercomputer, but I mean, I've got a GTX 970 and a i7-3470, so I mean, it's not really a slump or anything either, It's, but it's not, my computer is not over the top, I mean, most regular computers are going to be able to run this game for the most part pretty well. Alright, look bud, I don't think you're going to make it. No, wait, I don't want to use another arrow. Uh, I did. <laughs> I, I did use another arrow. I hear a zombie beating on something here somewhere. Man, another can of dog food. We've been doing quite well for food, actually. I don't know how our water situation is, but our tea and everything should keep us in good shape. Check out the mailbox. Of course, there's only paper in the mailbox. I would really love it if the game would stop uh, dropping so many frames. Uh, now, in an earlier video, I I went in through the window because I didn't realize the fucking door was unlocked. And I was re-watching it later, and I was like, man, I'm such a jackass. It's true. I can deal with that. We're just going to drink that right away. Oh man, thank you, game. You're being so nice to me. Uh, like, I don't have my my uh, loot spawns turned up at all, so a lot of the time you can come into a place like this and you won't find a goddamn thing. Alright, what do we get going on in here? Uh, we just found some turds. Oh man, antibiotics. That's real good. Um, I don't... I can hear a zombie beating on something somewhere, and I'm not sure what that's all about, but... Okay, we need to scrap that just so we can keep the inventory space. So here's where things get interesting, because we have to pick and choose. I'm not going to be using a blood draw kit. We need to pick and choose carefully what we uh, bring along with us, what to scrap, what to keep. Because, I mean, do I want to scrap those pistol parts, or do I want to kind of, like, keep them along with me in hopes that I'll end up, uh, you know, gaining all of the pieces to a pistol later. Now, I want to keep... Yeah, I wasn't certain if I would find anything on that, but I wanted to check it out anyway. Oh, didn't I see a stairwell? Is there another door? I thought I saw a stairway on the outside. Yeah, there is a stairway heading around the outside edge. Alright. So, I guess we'll continue moving west. Alright, we're just going to try to clear this area out. I think if we can get in here, this will be where we end it for today. Oh 
Oh man, hopefully we can get in here in time. There's probably going to be quite a bit of zombie action here. I do get quite a few arrows though, so... Here's hoping we can do some damage. Oh shit, nope, get back. Okay, nope, we gotta be careful. We gotta watch our back too, we don't want to get caught out. I mean, we're playing permadeath. If we die, that's it, it's over. Come on. Okay, she's down. Let's just search her. Nobody's close enough to fuck with us right now. Okay, we found some chili. That's a good find. Uh oh, medical zombies got some got some moves. No, leave me alone. Oh, I got hit a couple times there. Gotta be more careful. Gotta be more careful than that. Okay, he likes arrows in the face. I've I've heard you like arrows in the face. There. Uh, um. No. Okay, I think I'm infected, but I do have antibiotics, so I'll be okay. Oh, don't get too close to him. Come on. Oh, man, he's, uh, he, this this big guy is a little tough sometimes. Ooh, don't get hit. Come on, he stumbled. Hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again. Damn, dude, you are strong. Oh, man, he will not die. My club's about to break, too. Okay, he's dead. I just gotta kill Crawly McFuckface here. God, crawlers are strong. They're like ungodly strong. I hate how strong they are. The bastards. Would you die? Oh my god, I broke my club on his head and he's still not dead. He's still coming coming right at me. Okay, down he goes. Thank fuck, you bastard. Okay, let's see if we can find the bodies. Some fat on that guy. He needs to lose some weight. Well, we... I, I tried to remove his head, but he wasn't having that, I guess. Okay, we're going to turn those into arrows immediately, because we don't have a whole lot of inventory space. Uh, I think our nurse turned into gore before we could search her. Okay, can we get in here now? Alright, looks like we've captured the campsite. Woo! Okay, anyway... This is where we're going to end for today. I know we didn't totally close on our marker, but we are only 300 meters off and, you know, in a straight line from where we were, we were a little closer than that. So, next time, we're going to loot this place and spend the night here and uh, see what kind of loot this place may hold. I mean, there's a car, there's some good stuff in these sometimes. Anyway, I'm Poob, this is Game Horror Game. Join me again next time in the wastelands of the post-apocalyptic zombie nightmare. I'll see you next time.